All right. So we got two charges, right? And we want to know where on the y-axis is, e, is the x component of the electric field equal to zero. Bit of a mouthful. All right. So first thing we need to know is what what does y-axis really mean? Well, in terms of coordinates, y-axis means that the x is going to be equal to zero, the z equals zero, and y well y can equal anything, right? And in our case, we want to know what y is, so y is going to be the variable. y is the variable in question. It is a uh, question mark. Right? So now we know this can be converted into a point. We can call this P3 equal to 0, y, 0. Pretty simple, right? And we, just like any other, uh, just like any other electric field Coulomb's law problem, you need to find a unit vector and find the magnitude, the distance, right? You need to find a vector of the two points and then you need to find the magnitude of the distance between the points so you can use the, uh, the electric field equation. So let's get that started. So P13 is going to be the difference of these two points, right? So 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Y minus negative 2 would be Y plus 2. And then uh, 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Now we could find the magnitude of this vector, which is just going to be the distance between the two points. Right? Um, 4 squared, well, I'll write it all out. 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared plus 7 squared. And I'm leaving out that negative because it doesn't really matter since it's squared. All right, so 16 plus 49 is 65. And we can't add this y plus 2 because um, obviously it's, there's a variable involved. You can't add those two. So you just leave it like that. And then now let's find our 2, 3 point. Same exact method. 0 minus 3 is going to be 3, negative 3. Uh, y minus 4 is just y minus 4. And then 0 minus negative 2 is 2. And again, we find the magnitude. And I'll just do this kind of talk through it. So 3 squared is going to be 9. 2 squared is going to be 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. And then again, we can't do anything with this y minus 4 squared value. And remember, this is just uh, Pythagorean theorem with three elements. I mean, if you should have seen this in calculus a good bit, and probably in other uh, engineering courses or whatever you're taking. Okay, so now we would use the electric field equation, which is E equals Q over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. Now remember, this is just uh, this is just Coulomb's law without the other charge considered. So it's just one charge instead of two. Pretty simple. It's just a, a bit more of a vague um, use of the, uh, the law. It's still, it's still the same law, pretty much. And then we'd have it over some vector. Let's just use this P13, for example over its magnitude. And remember, this is the unit vector. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do the same thing in red and green for the two different points that we're working with. So here we go. E13 equals 25 nanocoulombs over 4 pi epsilon naught times this whole thing squared, we're, we're going to be multiplying by this, because this is effectively r, right? This is r. Um, so since this is going to be squared, we could basically just take off this square root, because a square and a square root are going to cancel each other, right? So I'll just write it like this. And then we get to multiply it by the unit vector, this part over here, right? We have to do that. So... What is that? Let's do it. Negative 4 
y plus 2, negative 7, over the r. And the r, again, is just going to be um, square root. And you see that these two can combine, but uh, we also have to do the green portion of this. Or wait, did I just call that E13? Hmm, how do I want to do this? Now, you know what? Let's call this E total, and we'll just do the whole thing right in one shot. How do you guys feel about that? Sounds good. Okay, so do this in green. Plus, this one is going to be 60 nanocoulombs. And I'm getting this from the top of the problem. I just remember the value. Um, again, this is a square root, but it's going to be squared by this equation. So we can just call that 13 plus 1 minus 4 squared. And multiply that by... And this this is a multiplication dot. It's not a dot product. I know um, I shouldn't really use that kind of notation since we're at a level where we use dot product a lot. But just uh, bear with me. Um, this is a four. I gotta look at this, these units again. Oh, this is a three. Y minus four and two, and then it's gonna be all over. Oh, same thing. Square root of thirteen plus Y minus four squared. Okay, so now we effectively have. The whole, the whole shebang. This is the this is what the electric field is doing for those two charges. This is how it's going to combine. We have everything we need. We have the direction of each charge coming from here. We have the magnitude that each charge is going to uh, affect that that point. But so now we have to look at the problem and see what we want to do. So. The, we're looking for the y-axis where the x component is equal to zero. So really, we're worried about the y-axis, but we have that covered here. And we need the x component of the electric field. So first, we need to convert this total, E total, into E total x. So let me write it out like this. E, actually, let me switch to black now. Okay, so E total x. So how do we how do we do that? Well, basically, the e total x is just the x portion of this whole thing. So you basically would would just not worry about the y and z components. So you basically cancel those out, and then you're left with just the x component of the problem. It's actually pretty simple. It makes it a little easier. So let me write this out. Yeah, cool. I can bring that negative four over like this. Uh, control Z. So four pi epsilon naught, and these two can combine to be because it's the same. Notice that this is the same value. This is to the one half power or square rooted, and this is just to the one power because it's not you know it's not rooted or squared or anything. So that would equal three halves to the three halves. So this portion epsilon naught um, again this will be to the three house power and now these are both going to be in the x direction I don't let me not forget about it. so now this whole thing is in the x just the x component of the problem. We basically eliminated the y and z component of the problem. So, let me take a sip of coffee. It's good coffee. Um, yeah, I'm actually fasting right now. I, I take black coffee only. But, that's besides the point. Anyway, uh, fuck, what were we doing again? Um, oh, right. So, we know, or we want, the point at the y-axis where the x component is equal to zero. So all we have to do is make this equal to zero and then solve for frickin' x and we're done, dude. It's that easy. It's that easy. 
So, look, you set that equal to zero. Where'd my cursor go? You take this whole thing, copy, paste, move it, set it equal to zero, and you're 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 basically done with the thought process of the math. This is what I'd call the easy part. You would uh you would take these two, set them equal to each other, or you'd, you'd bring one over. And just do some algebra, and you'd figure out that uh, you'd figure out a y value. You'd actually get two y values because it's a square here, right? So y would be equal to, and this is just coming from the solutions, because I'm not actually going to do the math for us here. It's not necessary. Negative six point eight nine, and then it would be negative twenty two point eleven. And those would be your two values where the y-axis has an x electric field x component of zero. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the video. It's a bit of a, you know, it's not too bad of a problem, I don't feel. You kind of just uh, do a little bit of math. The tricky part is kind of figuring out, like, uh, what that third point looks like, you know, kind of making a zero, a y zero, and then. Also remembering that you're just dealing with an x component, so you can kind of get rid of all the, the rest of the vector BS that's kind of involved. So, man, it's a nice day out here. All right, guys. I'll uh, talk to you. Peace.